Here we are, folks. Winter Park, Colorado. Site of the 2014 Trenchled Snowboard and Goodwood Snowboard Test. I'd like to show you one of these all-mountain winners, the Burton Custom Twin. Here we have the camera version. Camera is real nice, but they also make this in the Flying V camera. So if you want a little more loose, surfy ride, you can go for that one. But this camera version here is what won in the test. Like the regular custom, every custom since the dawn of time, this board rips. But there are a few tweaks to this one that just to kind of set it out above a lot of the other ones. While this board is a twin, it has a lot of subtle asymmetric qualities they really just balance out the ride, whether you're goofy or regular. Part of that is this asymmetric core profiling that is really maximized for a slight duck stance in both goofy and regular riders. Not only is the core profiled asymmetrically, but the entire core of the board is built with the sideways slider in mind, meaning that all the wood grains are patterned so that it's built to flex basically perfectly with the human body sliding sideways down some frozen water. You can't beat it. It's just perfect. Also, we have Burton's frostbite edges, which kind of extend slightly underneath the feet for the best edge hold you can get in icy conditions, basically. In addition to all that asymmetry in the core, the edges themselves are also built around that asymmetrical vibe. Working in perfect unison with the body. Ton of carbon, ton of fiberglass, insane pop. It's kind of more of a park-oriented all-mountain board but it's still great anywhere you take it. Definitely built for going large. Thinned out tip and tail for reduced swing weight. There she is. Burton Custom Twin, Camber. 2014, 2015, Transit Snowboarding, Goodwood All Mountain winner.